So we have the combustor to a point where we're ready to start testing it. Um, we got a place for the air to go in and uh, exhaust to come out. We got some ports in here for gauges in the future, assuming that it's going to work, which at this point is a really big assumption. I'm really hoping that it doesn't explode because that would really super suck if I'm standing next to it and it turns into a grenade and I've got to pull shrapnel out of my butt for the next the five years. Right Why don't you play with the knob and kind of get a, uh, get a sense of the flow so that you kind of know what you're doing. You want to creep up on it? You want to be crazy with the shit? No, we want to creep up on it. Oh, and another other news. Five idiots died in a parking lot with a jetty combustor. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this pointed away? What was the last thing Mike Pussel said? <laughs> Watch this! I'm trying to get myself comfortable with how I'm going to hold this and then light it. And you have the, what I'm worried about also is that there's a, there's a potential for flashback out of here. So I've got to like make sure I'm lighting it where I'm not like this and the flashback hits me in the, in the face. The scary part right now is that nobody's done this. What is it again? Like, how is that going to... What is the input and the output of that? So, what the, when the turbo... When you come off boost, the turbo's air will go into here. Instead of into the car. And then it goes into the combustion chamber, gets lit, and spools the turbo. So that when you're off throttle, this is on throttle. And then when you're off throttle, or on throttle, this is off throttle. out high pressure but it's just not enough air flow. You know what, it's either that or, or the design isn't good enough and it's blowing. It. It's, well, it could be blowing to fire it out. So should we... We could try... Clocking it like... Putting it down some? I mean, it shouldn't change it. Because all it's doing is just filling up the barrel with fuel. We're not getting a good mist, we're just getting like fuel pouring out the back. I think that it might be trying to burn, but we're just blowing the fire out. Because what's happening, I think, is the fuel's injecting, running through all the holes and dripping into the bottom of the barrel. So, the way this is supposed to work is the fuel is supposed to go into the combustor. As soon as it gets injected into the combustor, it's supposed to be ignited, right? So that it's burning in the combustor. And the reason that the combustor has those little bitty holes in it is to slow the air down so the air doesn't blow the fire out. Right. But I think what we're doing, because we're trying to light it at the backside, we're just lighting the fuel that is not ignited here. It just sprays out, drips through the combustor into the can and then the air is whipping it and blowing it out the backside, and then we're lighting that on fire. So I think what we need to do is probably take that thing back inside, and we need to get a tube somehow welded down into the combustor so that we can light the combustor. It's burning all the way. So the, the gasoline, we just had way too much, and it shot fire out like six feet, and gas was dumping on the ground, and we just had way too much fuel, so our thought was, hey, let's try some propane, because that's going to be a lot leaner, but the propane is extra underwhelming. It doesn't do anything. It's like... Roast a I don't even think we could roast weenies, man. Uh, you send a weenie up in that fucking port? Like, consider, it, for sure. consider it roasted, sir. I mean, it's warm. So, at this point, 
I'm deep in thought because we basically have a bunch of time and a glorified space heater. It does a really good job of keeping us warm when we're standing around it outside and not much else. So, kind of what I'm thinking is we've been having difficulty building pressure in the combustor and I mean honestly that's got to be it. You got to have compression and then fuel and then ignition. We have fuel and ignition but no compression. So. My thought is, the next thing we have to really work towards is figuring out what we have to do to either rebuild it or adjust it or whatever we need to do to get compression. We need pressure inside the chamber or else I don't think it's going to work. So now I'm kind of like racking my brain on how are we going to go about getting compression or com pressurization inside the combustor so that we can get a better burn and right now I don't know so I'm gonna clean up my mess go home come back tomorrow with a fresh set of ideas